Kevin Zhang, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to move an Amazon Relational Database Service DB instance from a public subnet to a private subnet within the same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. Let's get started. Amazon RDS does not provide an option to change the subnet group of your DB instance with the same VPC. However, you can use the workaround method in this video to move your DB instance from a public subnet to a private subnet and make your DB instance private. The advantages of using this method include avoids the need to create a new DB instance, avoids using the snapshot restore process, minimizes the downtime involved in creating an instance and diverting traffic. The only downtime you see is the fail over time. First, Let's disable multi-AZ deployment and public accessibility on your DB instance. After signing into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console in the respective region that contains your DB instance. From the navigation pane, choose Databases, and then choose the DB instance that you want to modify. From the Modify DB Instance page, disable multi-AZ deployment and choose the Not Publicly Accessible options for your RDS instance. Note, if your DB instance is already set to single AZ and not publicly accessible, then you can proceed to discovering the IP address of your DB instance. Choose Continue and then review the summary of the modifications. Choose Apply immediately to apply your changes. Review your changes and if correct, choose Modify DB instance to save. Next, discover the IP address of your DB instance. After your DB instance has returned to the available state, run a D command for the DB instance's endpoint to find its underlying IP address. From this output, we can find the subnet that the RDS instance is using. In this example, the subnet IP that the primary instance uses is 10.0.0.199. For this example, the list of subnet ciders are as follows. Because the IP 10.0.0.199 is falling under 10.0.0.0 slash 24, we can conclude that the instance is placed in subnet 1. Now you must remove the public subnets and add the private subnets on the DB instance. Add all required private subnets in the subnet group. Also delete all public subnets from the subnet group except for the one that is used by your primary. In the example shown here, delete everything except subnet 1 because it's being used by your DB instance. Note, a private subnet is a subnet that is associated with a route table that has no route for an internet gateway. After signing into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console in the same respective region. From the navigation pane, choose Subnet Groups and then choose the subnet group that is associated with your DB instance. Choose Edit, and then from the Add Subnet section, choose the Availability Zone and Private Subnet. Save the subnet group. Choose Edit. Choose the Availability Zone and select the public subnets that you want to delete, and then choose Remove. Save the subnet group. Next. Enable multi-AZ on your DB instance. After signing into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon RDS Console. From the Navigation pane, choose Databases, and then choose the DB instance you want to modify. From the Modify DB Instance page, enable the multi-AZ deployment by choosing the option as Create a Standby Instance. Choose Continue, and then review the summary of the modifications. Choose Apply immediately to apply your changes. Review your changes, and if correct, choose Modify DB Instance to save. Note, modifying your DB Instance can take some time. After enabling the multi-AZ deployment on the RDS instance, the new secondary launches in one of the remaining private subnets. Later, reboot the DB Instance with failover and disable the multi-AZ deployment. Choose Actions, and then choose Reboot. Check the option Reboot with Failover, and choose Confirm. Note, when your DB instance fails over, 
the secondary which is using the private IP becomes the primary and the public subnet becomes the secondary. After you reboot your DB instance with failover, you must remove the secondary, which is now in the public subnet. To do this, modify your DB instance to disable MultiAZ again. Remove the remaining public subnet from the subnet group. Note, removing subnets from the subnet group is a configuration from the RDS side. It does not involve deleting any subnets from the VPC. Double check that there are only private subnets present in the subnet group. If your DB instance was previously in multi AZ deployment, you can enable it again. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.